concierge était en vogue Désormais on les a remplacés par des digicodes Dans ma ville il n'y avait pas de parc maître Je voyais des ouvriers manger des sandwichs à l'omelette Le passé me revient comme un bill Ok, la présence d'un passé omniprésent n'est pas passé Les halles supplantées par le cost L'allégorie des Madeleine Fille MC Solar is a French rapper uh, His origins were Senegal and Chad um, and he's uh, one of France's biggest hip hop artists. Some people think he's the, the best French rapper of all time. I'd not come across him before doing these uh, reviews. Um, he's uh, been active since 1988, and in that time, he's done about eight albums, which isn't a huge output. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was MC Solar's second album, um, and it's the first time that I've heard it, but it's not my first encounter with him uh, because I've reviewed one of his albums earlier in this series way back um, uh, sometime during the summer. Okay, uh, so uh, what can I say? Well, it's rap music. It's kind of... Uh, I, don't, I hesitate to use the word old school because I know that means something specific in rap and hip-hop, but it's definitely an older style than you'd uh, generally hear around now. Um, I would go out on a limb and say that I enjoy his rapping. It's definitely a style of rapping that I like that was around at that sort of time. Um, there's a lot of kind of fast and tripping off the, the tongue word stuff going on. I can make out occasional words but my french is nowhere near good enough to pick up more than that really um i think i picked up a phrase uh um where too little uh at one point at <laughs> nous um if my french is right and i might well be wrong and the various bits where you know i've I've picked up bits. I probably misheard them. I thought they was talking about Nutella at one point, but I'm sure that was wrong. Um, so mostly all I can hear is the rhythms um, and the music and the nice backing. Okay, so I like the rhythms of the rapping. I think it flows well. Um, I don't know if French is a particularly good language for rap. I said this last time when I, I listened to him. I thought that it felt natural to do this kind of fast uh, tripping rap stuff uh, in French. Uh, it might just be that he's really good at doing it and making it sound natural. Um, the backing stuff, uh, this is one of the things that is kind of make or break for me, I think, with uh, with hip-hop albums, is that I, I like most of the backing here. There's some good grooves, uh, some nice drums. I tend to not like it when it's really tinny drums, which is kind of very modern these days. Um, uh, there's a kind of tendency towards jazz here in the backing, which I like. There's some use of a, uh, a bass in here, which is good. So I, I like the backing. Um, there was one point, in fact, I can't remember which track it was on, that I caught myself thinking, oh, that's a nice snare sound. And, you know, I'm strange. I like particular sounds sometimes. Ah, so... Um, I liked it. It was definitely one that I could listen to again, actually. Uh, I responded quite well to this. There was one track where I wondered if he was uh, rapping about a rabbit. Uh, so French for a, la a rabbit is lapin. Um, and I was close. It was la fin, and it's a track about the end. La fin is the end. The end justifies the means. I can't do it all in French. Um, but, yeah, overall, good impression on me. What do you think? Uh, please talk to me through the comments box. That's it from me for now. La fin, justifie les moyens. La fin, la fin, justifie les moyens. La fin, j'entre actuellement dans le troisième tiers temps. Après le temps mort musical, m'applique maintenant. Les fins doivent être bonnes, même dans la rue.